Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to present Water O again. Thank you. This picture is Ms. Flint. Her name is Emeriana. She sent an invitation letter to President Obama to invite him to Flint, Michigan. There, we, had, we debuted Water O. Hundreds of residents tried Water O and they immediately fell in love with it. But the cost to fix Flint, Michigan to do a lead pipe overhaul is going to cost them $55 million. That problem is across the nation with arsenic, fluorine, lead, and many other heavy metals that has far exceeding levels that's, that's been pre-prescribed by the WHO. Globally now, globally now, 10% of the population that's 700 million people, twice the population of the U.S. that has a water crisis with contaminated, unsafe water to drink. Now, you may go out there and buy these basic filters that you may recognize. They, they're able to remove large particles like bacteria, but they're not able to remove smaller, ba uh, smaller particles such as lead and other antibiotics. So to remove the small particles, you may resort to these under the sink solutions. But there are two drawbacks from this. One, they take hours to install, and two, they're not efficient at all. They, they're only efficient at 20%. That means for five gallons of water being filtered, one gallon of water is clean for you to drink. Allow me to introduce you to Watero, the next generation water purifier. Our team of water treatment experts and mechanical engineers have been developing this technology for the last five years. Here on stage, we have two devices. We're going to be testing the water from two different sources. The first one, we brought Flint water, lead-filled water, transferred all the way to New York to show you here live on stage. The second, we'll be testing salt water, because salt is actually smaller than a lot of the smaller particles, such as the lead, fluoride, and other heavier metals. While he's doing that and letting this machine filter the water, reverse osmosis is a very basic process. It's simply there's a semi-permeable membrane where there's really tiny pores that can remove all these large and small particles, where there's an external pressure applied from one side of the filter to the other, such as bacteria, viruses, and lead, antibiotics, they can all be removed through reverse osmosis. How we do this, we actually achieve 80% efficiency level. That's five gallons of filtered, uh, five gallons of dirty water, and you get four gallons of clean and safe drinking water through our device. How we do this is actually through our PAN technology. Our PAN system has four filters where water is going through before hitting the fourth filter. It goes back to the refill tank and, and in, back to the refill tank and in this continuous cycle, it helps reduce waste. On the front of our water O device, we have two TDS displays. The first one is total dissolved solids um, that measures parts per million. This pretty much tells you how much stuff is in the water and the second, tells you how clean the water is after our reverse osmosis filtering process. To give you a point of reference, I'm showing you a chart here from 0 to 500 TDS. Your average tap water is at 350. To hit the sweet spot for purified water is from 0 to 50, such as your brands that you might recognize, like Smart Water and Dasani Water. In our device, we have four filters. There's one PV con filter, two activated carbon filter, and one reverse osmosis filter, all made in the US. Our reverse osmosis filter is actually made by General Electric to custom fit into our device. To give you a little perspective, a Dasani water bottle costs 60 cents. With Watero now, it's gonna cost you three cents. That's 20 times in savings. Now what's great is that our device is also a smart device. It's connected to your smartphone where it can you where you're able to control the device through your phone. Uh, it also reminds you when to stay hydrated and you're able to monitor the tedious level that you can share with your friends and family. Water oil is available for $399. We'll, be st we'll start shipping in June of this year and it's available in four colors. In the coming weeks, we have, we're partnering up with a global nonprofit called Water is Life. They'll be purchasing 5,000 units from us at cost to donate to 5,000 families in Flint, Michigan. Again, thank you for your time. Please, our booth is out there. Come try our water and have a great night, everyone.
Do we have any uh, water for our judges? I'm happy to try one. I'll try to do. <laughs> Somebody want to try it? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Try it, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so we want to try In the meantime, does anyone have any questions they want to start with? Can, can I understand the yeah. proprietary technology here? Because it sounded like from the presentation, the only difference is that you have four filters as opposed to one or Yeah, so the so. core technology is reverse osmosis system. So it's like a layer only let the uh, H2O molecule uh, get through it, and yeah. everything larger than that, we uh, just prevent it. So the virus, antibiotic, and even heavy metals are larger than the water molecule. So it will be get out. And the bacteria size is so huge, like this one. This is virus, and this is uh, antibiotic. Is, yeah. your, is your system patented or patent pending? Uh, it's patent. You've been awarded a patent. Uh, it's patent and in the worldwide and for our recycle system because the traditional R is uh, super wasting of water and uh, our technology, uh, so re the recycle one, uh, recycle the water once and once so we can get the 80% of the output instead of only the 20% in the traditional. Could this, in a, in a much larger scale, do desalinization or that's a totally different requirement? Uh, we we uh, first thinking of the technology in the consumer so, base. Yes, so, I realize that. Yeah. yeah. So for the larger scale, we we might yes. recalculate the power usage, and but the theoretically, uh, it can be done. Yeah. So, um, I I have a question. So this is uh, um, it tastes great, by the way. Thank you. This is an uh, this is an important idea. If it, if it works, talk to me a little bit about the um, about the filters, the four filters. Um, what's the maintenance cost? How often do I have to replace them? Because the replacement of filters, if you <laughs> stack yourself up against Brito and other people, is a huge piece of the cost and the problem here. <coughs> so, as you can see, but it's not on showing on the camera, but here's the four filters. Uh, each filter has its different jobs. So this is the PP cotton filters. It fills out the large particles like stands. So this is active carbon filters. So these filters are a little bit small particles like large bacteria and uh, other small things that we like dust we can't see. And so this is the most important one. It's a reverse osmosis filters. So it fills out anything without the water. And the fourth one is the filters for increase the taste. So our filters uh, has very cheap cost. So whole set of filter is eighty dollars, but it's not four filters; it's seven filters because each filters have different usages. So you change it, and uh, the four, the eighty dollars is for two thousand liters of usage. That that's almost uh, two years for one people. Four filters, two years, eighty dollars, forty-eight dollars per yes. year. Yeah, a set of filters is. Is, is that a wholesale? What's the retail cost? Oh, it's, it's not wholesale. It's a retail price. That's a retail price. Yeah, 40, dollars. $40 a year for filters. Yeah. Okay. And then talk to me about your thinking a little bit of the front of the, I mean, you're, you're creating a smart water device, but, um, you know, for a lot of the people um, who are going to want something like this, they're not going to want it to be Wi-Fi connected. They may not, uh, all of these sort of smart features may not be of interest to them. They just want good water. Yeah. So our devices is not necessarily need to be Wi-Fi connected. You, the only electronic things you can you need to connect is the cable. That's you need power. power. Yeah, that's power. Okay. Can I can I ask you? By the way, it's hard for me to hear what the other questions are. I can hear your answers. Uh, so maybe it's been asked. Long range. Where do you think this goes to? What kind of, what, what, do you, what would you hope in terms of being able to bring the cost down and being able to bring the price down? What's your long range objective for, the, for your price you would charge and what it would cost you to produce it? Yes, um, when we max product this, the cost will decrease by 30% at least. Uh, and our goal is to make, uh, like every home has these products because it's same as, it's like the, Water maker, so you bring the the whole water factory into your own home, home and uh, make it compact size. So that's way you save a lot of energy and footprint in the earth. No, but that's not the answer. What do you, what the would cost. you like five years from now? What price would you like to be? Hope you 
can sell this for and what would it do you, would you hope to bring your costs down to per so, unit? Uh, in one year we can bring the cost down at least by 30 percent. So now it's 399. So one year later should be at least 30 percent lower. So and what is your cost now to produce it? Uh, the cost is um, so in, in one perspective when you're talking about the cost we create this product for to prove one point right now the current traditional reverse osmosis systems they waste 80 percent we're able to achieve 80 percent efficiency through through this product with high quality uh, parts that we put into this that's why it's a high price point with that proven point we're able to now have the confidence to start creating you know mass marketed produced products for the second or third iteration in this five ten year and do you think about selling this to to housing developers and um, is there a b2b model here that that would get you a lot more exposure and certainly get the product out to a lot more people yeah sure so this product is not only not only for home but also for office use so uh, we are ready for the business order and group order, like the startups. Yeah. So to, to John's point, you know, the Wi-Fi connectivity, all that stuff, you said it's not essential. You know, right? Just plug it in, got the filters in there, it gives you clean water. So do you think you could, for instance, produce a version of it that has lower cost by eliminating unnecessary electronics? Yeah, definitely. We are already planning to export our product name, a uh, product line. and. Uh, we have uh, the next we want to pr provide is a portable one with uh, chargeable batteries. So that's the part people who go camping a lot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, because like I'm gonna be honest, with you, people use it once, then then they won't really care. Yeah. Definitely. And the the use cases that you had for the app, the you know your parts per million and your you know oh we're, I'm hydrated today. Nobody uses that um, stuff. Exact. Uh, actually, our. Uh, APPs, the most important things are our APP is it will provide the water drinking data and also the pollution data. So it will record the TDS in the whole area and the whole, whole world. So whenever this area, the TDS increased dramatically at that day, we know something happened in the filter, uh, in the tap system. Then we can allow people to avoid those potential water crisis. Oh, so you're talking about like uh, amateur um, weather people, like where they have the yeah, yeah. thing in their home and says, oh, hey, you know, the, the barometer's dropping, maybe there's a storm coming kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So you can say, hey, the water quality here really got affected. Our machine had to work a lot harder today. So that data gets contributed back and you can kind of disseminate that to organizations. Yes, yes. Okay. I have two questions for you. Can you connect it directly to a water line? And how many do you envision for a you know, reasonable size US home? How many of these would I buy for my house? Okay, so um, the purify speed for this is pretty quick. So I use it, the product path for one year. I don't need to re refill it every day. Uh, not two, I, I refill it two times per day. That's enough for me. And uh, talking about connect to the tabs directly, we are already working on a modular one so that you can plug on this. You, you choose, you, it's your choice to connect or disconnect. So that should be our next generation, yeah. uh, version two. Yeah, and by the way, these are the original salt water. Anyone want to taste it? <laughs> yeah, sure. Right. I do. No, I'm good. <laughs> and typically, this is this is created for like a household of four family members. And so, if you back to that math, where it's two thousand liters, salt, it'll take you two and a half years. Salt. So, for a family of four, two to four. Can I try it too? All right, Susan, you've tried both. What do you think? What do you think of the water? Try one of the salt waters. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's not salt. Good. Okay. Not salted. I'll try the salt one. Is this from the hot tub? It's from, it's, uh, from the clean source. Water and we add salt, so it's clean. Oh, you added salt. Yeah. It, it, there's no salt, John. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. It's no filtered it out. Yeah. So you can't taste the salt. Overall, we thumbs up on the water. It tastes good. We like it. Yeah. It's great. It tastes like water. Yeah. Thank you for working on a water supply. Thank you. Yeah. And now you mentioned yeah. one really quick question. That, you know, the last, <coughs> the last filter of the four is uh, taste. You said. Yeah, it's a, it's a active carbon filter to improve the taste. Right. So could you, for instance, make it taste like Fiji water? Because I don't know what they put in that stuff. For this yes. Crack. So they, so everyone has a different taste of the water. We did some like bottled water blend taste. So everyone have different um, flavors. And uh, maybe in the next January, next model, we can. Uh, we can add something 
you, you can choose to add whatever flavors you like to put it inside, maybe come out with orange flavor. Yeah. Yeah. And to add on top of that, the perspectives, purified water is from 0 to 50 TDS. Arrowhead Spring Mountain Water is usually 50 to like 150. I have one more question. How do you think about just building the brand and marketing the product. I think there's a lot of consumer familiarity, familiarity with sort of pitcher-based filter water products, but not, I've never had something like this in my home. How do you think about just building brand awareness and consumer trust? So when thinking about the building brand, first of all, we want to direct uh, sell to the consumers, so give them the best value. So in this case, uh, the, they can get the best value with the lowest price. And second of all, uh, this is, um, uh, product for the next generation, so we want to um, build a brand co-branding co with other like the fashion and uh, the other companies together. Lifestyles. Yeah, lifestyles. Yeah, so lifestyles. Any other questions? That's it. All right, everybody, give it up for Wateroo. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.